Today we're going to be doing an install on a 2014 Toyota Land Cruiser. Uh, for that we're going to be using a pry tool and we're going to be using a 10 millimeter on a drill here. Uh, so the first step is going to be taking off both these side panels. So we'll start with this one over here. Just grab your pry tool and go under it and just pry it off. And we'll do the same for this side. And now that you've gotten those off, you have to go on the side over here. So we'll move the camera over so you can see that. All right, so the first thing we need to remove is gonna be right here, sorry. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter or a Phillips. And now that we've got that loose, you're gonna to need to take this out down here, just a little pop. There we go. Now that we push the center in on that, this will come out. And you just need to pull at an angle like this. And then you want to unplug everything back here, or you can just set it to the side, which is what we're going to do. All right, and then we're going to be doing the same on this side over here. And this one's definitely been replaced. And then what we remove down here, you just, I'm using the tip of this, but you can use anything just small to just push in the middle of the clip. And then once you get that in, pull out. And sometimes this will fly out, it just attaches back in here, so no worries. All right, and then the next step will be taking out both the vents. Just you make your pry tool underneath. And then you just wanna unplug the vent here. Here's the little clip for it right there. Do the same on this side. And the last thing will be taken off the top. And the same thing with the pry tool that we just did with the vents. There we go. And it just pries right off. And you're going to have one plug way back here. There we go. And now that all, we've got all that off, it's just going to be 10 millimeters all the way around. So we'll start with the screen first because there are some down here that hold the radio in. So now that we got all four of those loose, we can pull this out and unplug everything behind it. I'll just push all those to the back for now. And then the next thing we'll need to do is undo the radio. So we've got the two up here and then two on the side. And then we can go ahead and pull that out. Alright, so now that we've taken all the screws off of here, we can go ahead and pull it out. But first we need to pull this out. And you can actually just set that to the side if you'd like. And then the radio just pulls directly out. And then you'll have some plugs on the back that we'll need to undo. For this one up here, I tend to use my pry tool just to go in on the side and push in the lock. And it normally comes right out. There we go. Now we've got the radio removed. We're going to go ahead and install our cables now. First we're going to start off with our GBMF cable. These two will go behind the display and this will get plugged into the V-line. So we'll plug the female connector in here. And then we'll leave this cable right here so we can plug it in. And I'm gonna run them over by the AC vent here because we're gonna run our cables down into the glove box. So this is a good place to get all your cables ran to at first and before you pull them through. All right, our next cable is gonna be our MCF Lex 7T RES cable. This connector will get plugged into the V-line and this connector will go behind the radio with this one. So I'm gonna connect that here. Get our 16 pin here. All right, and now that we've got those ran, our next step is going to be doing the GPS antenna. And we're going to put that right up here uh, behind the speaker grill, kind of. So I'll show you that. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is move our GPS antenna right here. There's a nice spot back up here underneath the top of the dash. It's on top of one of the EC vents. So just gonna put it up there and push down, make sure it sticks well. And then we're gonna run our cable the same exact way we did our other ones. And the last thing we're gonna run is gonna be our USB extension cable right here. We're gonna be doing a flush mount USB, so we're just gonna run this down here where the cigarette lighter is, where we're gonna install that. So now that we've got all that ran, we're gonna go ahead and get them into the glove box area and then we'll come back and show you how to reassemble everything. All right, so we can go ahead and start reassembling everything. We've got all of our cables ran, we got them pulled through to the glove box. Uh, so next step, we'll just be plugging the radio back in. And just make sure you double check before you put everything back together that you've gotten all the plugs from back here plugged back in. Otherwise you might find that some things don't work. We're just going to double check back here, make sure there's nothing. And yeah, I don't see any extra cables, so we can go ahead and push this back into place. Make sure you get all the other little cables in the area out of the way. And you just want to make sure that this fits on properly and that the side clips on the bottom go in. And in this case, they're not going in, so we're going to readjust. There we go. And so everything's flush there now, so we can go ahead and put our screws back in. Now that the radio is back in, we can go ahead and do the display. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and hang around the other way just to keep it all clean. There we go. And then this will go back into place. And again, just make sure you line everything up with it. There we go. And lastly, we'll screw it in as well. So one thing to make sure you get right is the screws on the bottom on this one you use a bolt, whereas the other ones up top go into plastic and use more of a screw. So you notice sometimes they don't go back together correctly. And the last piece on the bottom that we need to put back in is going to be this piece down here. We've got our flush mount in here, so we'll just run that USB to the extension that we ran. And then we're going to plug all of this back in like normal. There we go. And this cable that we're tucking was for the original cigarette lighter, so we're just going to put that back there. There we go. And then we'll come back and we'll put on all the side panels and then we'll show you how everything works. Alright, so we can go ahead and start reassembly now. I'm going to start with the vents and putting the top back on. So we'll start with our right vent here. Make sure you plug that back in. And it'll slide right into place. Same with this one over here. Make sure you get it plugged in. And we're going to go ahead and put the top back on. Again, plug that in. And it does go in at a bit of an angle, so you gotta make sure you get that right before you push it down. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna pop this back into place here. Go in. There we go. And just make sure to put your screw in up top. And then lastly, you're going to want to put in this uh, rivet on the very bottom down here, so it'll go in the hole. And then you just push it in. Alright, so I'll put this in over here now. There we 
go. Put this rivet in down here. All right, and then we gotta do the screw up here now. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is put on our side panels here. There we go. All right, and then lastly, we'll put this one down on this side as well. And now we've got everything installed. I'll show you how everything works. All right, so we've gone ahead and mounted the front camera here. Uh, it's ran up through this bumper here. This is a custom bumper, so how you mount it's gonna vary based on how their bumper is. Uh, but this is just a general overview. So I ran it down underneath the bumper here, and there's a little bar right here with some factory cables on it. So we've just zip tied it along that. And then I ran it up right here in this corner next to the radiator. Uh, some factory wiring going in here, so we just followed that path. And then we want to stay as far away from the engine as possible, so we ran it along the edge here. Uh, we actually had some aftermarket looming that was already ran in the vehicle, so just to keep it all, you know, the same, we followed through that. And then we're going to go ahead and show you how we get through the firewall up here in this vehicle. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run this through here. As you can see, down here there's a tube. Um, we did have somebody run some aftermarket stuff through here, so yours won't look exactly like this, but there should be this tube right here. Uh, there might be a cap on it, but as long as nothing's ran through it, you can cut that cap off of it and run your wire through it. Uh, for this, we're using a long zip tie. You can get these at like a home improvement store, and we've just taped our actual wire to it. And we've used WD-40 just to kind of grease it up to get it through here. It'll help a ton if you're going through this. And so we'll just push our cable through. You kind of have to angle it right as you push it through, but you'll feel it once it finally breaks through and gets inside. All right, so we've got it ran through. As you can see, we've pulled it through the grommet. Uh, now that it's over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it up along here and we're gonna zip tie it along with other wires. And to get to this area here, you do have to take this bolster out right here. It's a pretty simple one to take out. You can see these clips there. Uh, there's also going to be some 8 millimeters that might be in your way that you'll need to take out. But from there it just pops down. And then you got to unplug your light. And that'll be it to get this out. Alright, so we've gone ahead and taken all the lower parts off here. Uh, we have a video showing how to uninstall the whole radio on this one. So you can check out that video. Uh, but we're running our camera through. We ran it underneath here. And we've got our cable up to here now. We've got our power cables here for the camera, so we'll show you how to connect those shortly. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and run the video wire to the V-line. So to do that, we need to take off this trim here. And there's going to be this vent right here. There's a clip on this side. There we go. And our V-line uh, is in the glove box, so it'll run directly down into there. Uh, so once we get that ran, we'll go ahead and show you how to connect all the power up for the switch. Alright, so we've got all of our wiring here. This is going to go to this front panel here. And we've done a USB flush mount here, so we took out the cigarette lighter. And that bottom one goes to this plug right here, which we've tested with the multimeter to see which one was positive and negative. Uh, we've attached our positive and negative for the camera, along with for the actual switch itself for the light. So. We'll follow up once we get all that wired up, show you how that's wired up. Yeah. Alright, so we've got our three wires here. This one with the heat shrink on it is going to be the, our camera power. This one's our 12 volts, and then we've got our ground here. And now we're going to be connecting it to the switch here that we're going to be installing. So we just ran all the, all the wires out right here so we can connect them. Uh, so we'll start with these two here, or well this one will be for your LED power. This will be for switch power on one side. This will be your other switched power, and this will be your ground. And the ground's going to be for the LED here. So what you'll want to do is take these two and you can connect them together, as long as you're tagged to a 12 volt accessory source. So this light on here will come on whenever the car is turned on. And then we'll have this one here, which will get to our camera power, and then this one that will go to our ground. So we'll get all those connected real quick, and then we'll come back and show you.
All right, so as you can see, we've got it all wired up. We've got the two going to our accessory. We've got this for the camera power once the switch is turned on. And we've got our ground right here. And you can test the tape these up to kind of clean them up, but we'll just show you. This just fits right in, like that. There you go, and we'll show you how it works in just a little bit.